last talk in this session is uh, by Tsumura san talking about fingerprinting non minimal heat detector. Thank you for the introduction, and uh, thank you for organizer to invite me to uh, this nice workshop. Uh, since I was a poster at NTU, so it's a nice chance to come back to NTU again. <laughs> yeah, so I like this team. Okay, today I'm going to talk about the fingerprinting method of the non minimal heat detector. This talk is based on this paper with Kamimura san and Yakuza and Yokoda san. Okay, this is the outline. Uh, I just briefly mentioned the standard model leak. Then uh, I summarize the current set of future set of leak coupling measures. And then I will show you some sort of uh, extended Higgs Higgs, extended Higgs model and its prediction. And uh, after that, I will compare the uh, prediction. Okay. Uh, what I want to talk about is who am I? <laughs> okay, this is a standard model. I already you know that uh, in the standard model, uh, Higgs phases have a very important role and uh, this triggers the uh, uh, electric symmetric breaking. As a consequence, uh, we get for the mass generated from the bed, and fermion mass is also generated from the Higgs bed. Uh, after that, uh, the, we get this, this simple relation between the Higgs coupling and mass of relevant uh, particles. OK, this is, uh, you already know, uh, saw uh, this plot again again at the end. And this is a signal strength plot. And uh, this is a coupling, uh, two parameter bit of these two couplings. And uh, at the atlas experiment, uh, okay, probably atlas experiment, this central value is uh, 1.15, and uh, uh, kappa f is almost 1. This is the current situation. But we still have very large uncertainty in this plot. And uh, in the uh, five parameters, we have more uncertainty because of the uh, less uh, ambiguity. Then, uh, but uh, we still have many questions in Higgs sector. Uh, first question, of course, is it the standard model one or not? And uh, may I, uh, we may have some second Higgs boson in the future. And uh, more fundamentally, question is the elementary or composite and the uh, origin of electric breaking. Blah, blah, blah. So we have so many questions in Higgs sector. We still have many questions. Okay, so today I want to discuss the how to fingerprint the Higgs boson. Fingerprint is uh, you, you don't need to get about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a uh, mass, pro, mass, mass coupling relation. This is a mass of relevant of particles, and this is a coupling defined by something like that. And uh, you can see this is a uh, pretty nice uh, line. But uh, in fact, if you scale up it linearly, <laughs> then uh, we still have very large uncertainty. This is taken from this uh, and put on uh, this line <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, I, I want to emphasize that this is a large uncertainty, the level of uh, 20 or 30 percent. And uh, one more, uh, we, we also use some one more assumption to make this plot. Now, uh, important assumption is the Higgs width. Higgs width is, uh, if you relax the condition of the Higgs width, then uh, this uncertainty is further enlarged. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this mass coupling relation can be fit by this way. So the Higgs coupling can be uh, not, not a linear, it can, can be. Uh, not uh, uh, linearly uh, related to each other. It's possible. Uh, at the future, uh, at the high ministry of CD, Higgs coupling will be measured very precisely. This is a okay, table for the each coupling. And this is, a, again, a mass coupling relation. Uh, typically, uh, Higgs coupling will be measured at the level of 5%. At the Iron University LHC. Okay, this is the current status and, uh, and the current uh, error uh, from the Atlas experiment. And uh, at the future LHC, we could have the, this size of the LHC. I, I already did scale the size of the boxes, then uh, you can just uh, imagine from this size shrink to this size. 
at the uh, uh, Hyrule University LAC. Level of five pass. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Five pass. Uh, and, uh, maybe it's a science fiction. <laughs> and uh, uh, in the future, we we have so many uh, projected uh, uh, machine, ILC, TLS, Coric, etc. At the future collider, for example, the ILC, uh, Higgs coupling will be measured level of uh, less than 1%. This is a key number. And uh, again, I am going back to the mass coupling relation. In fact, uh, this, this uh, actually is not the coupling, actually. And this is the ratio of the coupling. So the mass coupling can, can be different, actually. Uh, that this is partly related to the width, not peaks. What I want to tell you is that uh, if uh, the, there is some, something invisible, mass coupling ratio can be shifted uh, uh, this way. And uh, or if we have some something colored in a gluon fusion blue, uh, this can be shifted in this lower direction. This is still possible. And uh, about the six weights, uh, at the ILC can uh, Deconstruct, uh, not actually the direct measurement, but can deconstruct the fixed weight uh, experimentally using these four measurements. So, so resolution is also good. This is a Higgs strong process, and uh, it recall measurement is a key key process to probe the fixed weight. Okay, so how to fingerprint the Higgs problem? Okay, so what I want to tell you is that, okay. This three finger print is can be uh, you can clearly see this is different, and one of them can be a standard model, and the other one is a two separate model. We have many prediction in Higgs coupling. That is that is a, I want to tell you today. Okay, so let me begin with a simple uh, extension of the standard model. Uh, I just put one more multiple in the standard model Higgs set. And uh, there are some sort of uh, extended Higgs models. Uh, for example, in a singlet extension, uh, sometimes used in, uh, motivated by the gauge B minus N model. Only. And uh, that is extension, uh, this is so called two separate model. This is uh, nothing but the uh, Higgs sector in the supersymmetric model. And uh, okay, this is type 2 system model. And this is a uh, more exotic model. Uh, this ensures draw equal to 1 without considering symmetry. And uh, I will have more extension. extension. And the uh, March average model may be uh, motivated by variable symmetry, and the uh, March triplet model may be motivated by the Julian Majestic model. Okay, I, I will show you these, these, these kind of models later. Okay, let me begin with a simplest extension standard model doublet plus one singlet with hypercharge gel. In this extension, uh, secret bed uh, documentation value does not contribute to the electrosymmetric breaking. Then the uh, bed uh, determined by the muon decay is same as the bed uh, coming from the uh, double Higgs mode, standard model Higgs mode. Uh, and the difference from the standard model comes from the uh, Higgs mass, basically. And uh, we have uh, many parameters in the Higgs potential, and which enter the, in this mass matrix. Mass matrix enlarges, in this case, uh, 2 by 2. Then uh, we can have some Higgs mixing parameter here. This compared to this mixing number, alpha. After that, uh, we can easily calculate the Higgs coupling in this theory. And uh, actually, the uh, Higgs coupling is corrected, uh, this factor. Uh, uh, cosine alpha factor for kappa b and also for the kappa h. Both are universally correct in a Higgs single extension. OK, and uh, this is a model prediction. And this is a kappa b, and this is a kappa f. And uh, if no, there is no mixing, this is nothing but a standard model Higgs boson. But if we have a mixing, then uh, uh, Coupling reduced because of the mixing. Then the uh, prediction of the single extension of the model is just uh, this horizontal line. This is very simple. 
and you can compare with the experimental data. Uh, this is this is horizontal one, horizontal to this line. Uh, you can easily compare with the experimental data, and uh, you can enjoy the <laughs> game. <laughs> okay. So uh, next, I, I will discuss about the uh, doublet extension and two examples more. In the doublet extension, doublet pairs contribute to the electrode symmetry breaking in this way. B1 or B1 is one uh, first doublet and B2 is a second doublet. Bev. And uh, in this case, uh, okay, so we, okay, Bev ligation is changed from the standard model. And uh, then we need to introduce additional parameter, tangent beta, so called tangent beta, B2 over B1. And uh, in this case, mass of gate bonus is not changed actually, but the mass of fermion is uh, different from the standard model because we have two webs. So the, I already imposed some uh, softly broken with the symmetry in order to suppress the uh, three level flavor changes in the current by this way. For example, yeah, this can easily omit. Okay, if you assign this kind of quantum charges, uh, okay, these two charges, then you can edit the one of the color interaction. <coughs> you know that in the standard model, we have the up curve, down curve, charge weapon. So the, we have four possibilities to assign the G2 charges. And the first one is so-called type one, uh, three subject model, nothing but that. Everything coming from the five one. The second one is the sum, 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 and so forth. And these models are so called type 1 to type 2 to type, type X and type Y. Okay, actually, these four models have uh, different uh, motivation. For example, if you consider some neutral field to subject model, this uh, go down to the, this model, uh, type 1 to subject model. And as you know, in the supersymmetric theory, automatically uh, requires a type two uh, <laughs> type two to fix up model. And uh, type X is quite interesting. This is also required in in a gauge of type three system model, and also the model based on the electronic flavor symmetry. I have no idea for the this last one. <laughs> Please think about it. <laughs> so in this extension, Higgs coupling uh, changes in this way. Uh, kappa B is, uh, it, this is a factor sine beta minus alpha. And the kappa F is corrected by this way, sine beta minus alpha minus some Z factor, tangent beta or cosine tangent beta, depending on the isospin of the And uh, times cosine beta minus alpha. And uh, in each model, type 1, 2, x, y model, this Z factor is equal. <laughs> Uh, for type 1 model, uh, this is universal, actually. Everything is a cosine beta. And th this is a prediction of uh, type 1 to separate model. And uh, okay, you can easily compare to with a uh, single extension model. One of the uh, features of the 2 separate model is kappa f factor can be uh, larger than 1. Sorry, sorry, this one, one is constant. You have to. This is a typical feature of two model, but the uh, kappa B cannot exceed uh, larger than one. Okay. Okay. This, this is just, just a fingerprint you know, of the Higgs coupling using the in this plane, kappa F, kappa B plane. Okay. So the. In this, okay, the, I already mentioned. Uh, yeah, kappa f larger than y is one of the evidence, but uh, okay, 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 I'm skipping it. But in fact, uh, this uh, this region predicts a larger kappa f, but uh, actually uh, this uh, parameter is already ruled out. So now now I, I change the parameter. Oh, okay, I fix the parameter tangent beta and alpha, uh, but I change to the more reasonable parameter here, uh, kappa B is a Higgs gauge gauge coupling, and uh, usual tangent beta, probably, it's more familiar for you. 
and uh, in this in this plan, so the x coupling uh, is deviated as a function of tangent beta and uh, cosine and uh, kappa b squared. This is the prediction. So to to distinguish these uh, parameter dependence, we need very high precision in the x coupling. This is a kappa z kappa e plane. This this axis is kappa e, and this axis this axis is kappa b. And this is a case in type one to exhibit model, and this is the case in type two to exhibit model. As I already sh show you that to exhibit model, the kappa f factor is universally corrected, and that's similar to the uh, singleton extension model. Then just uh, we only have the horizontal you know, diagonal lines. But in type 2 to hexagonal model, you cover text size something different from the type 1 case. So one, one, coupling, uh, one coupling is, okay, in the type 1 case, this is factor is cosine beta, or cotangent beta, and type 2 case is minus tangent beta. As a consequence of this difference, uh, type 2. Uh, Higgs coupling in type 2 to exhibit model is uh, around uh, in this region, uh, larger than the one. This is the typical prediction. And uh, third one, in type X to exhibit model. Type X to exhibit model is actually uh, exist in this core, this core, this core, here. <laughs> then uh, we can clearly uh, distinguish uh, these three models uh, by looking at uh, Higgs coupling measurement. Okay, this is a summary of two Higgs coupling model. Uh, in type one model is here, and the type two is here, type X and type one. So, uh, using the Higgs coupling measurement, we can easily uh, distinguish the two Higgs coupling model. That is, I want to tell you today. Okay, this is uh, actually original work in my paper. Okay, uh, in the morning session, uh, Professor Low told us uh, we need to go the loop level. And uh, this is a tree level prediction. And uh, in, actually, in tree level models, there, there can be a very large non decoupling effect in the loop. And uh, Kanemura san, his collaborator, uh, scanned up this kind of parameter state, assuming the unitarity. Uh, constraint and the vacuum stability constraint, and he evaluates the uh, quantum correction to the Higgs coupling. And the result is this plot. Uh, basically, there can be a few or several percent correction into the Yukawa coupling. But uh, I, I want to emphasize the fingerprint method is uh, still uh, possible and uh, work uh, even under the radiative correction. Okay, next I would like to discuss the uh, triplet extension, you know, the standard model. In the triplet extension, uh, triplet vacuum extension value contributes the uh, electric symmetry breaking difference, uh, difference in the difference contribution to the uh, W boson and Z boson. This factor is 2 and this factor is 4. Then the uh, Higgs coupling is deviated by this way. This kappa B factor is different for the uh, w boson, Z boson. And uh, uh, kappa, kappa F is uh, something similar to the two-exhibit model type 1. Uh, in this kind of model, we, have, we generally have a very strong constraint from the low parameter. Uh, because the uh, low parameter is nothing but the ratio of these two, then uh, this factor is deviated uh, depend on the ratio of the uh, vacuum extension value. So the, from the current experimental data, this coupling uh, uh, constraint very precisely, and uh, in fact, it's the order of 0 0.01 level. It's a percent level. So this means that the uh, Higgs coupling deviation is at the most, a Higgs coupling deviation in kappa B is at the most 1%. In, in, in this kind of extension. 
And uh, okay, so so if we take this one number, basically this goes to one and this goes to zero, then we can omit here and this factor goes to cosine alpha. This is nothing but the single extension or, or it's almost the same as the single extension. Then uh, think of in that sense we couldn't uh, print up in the, this theory and single model. Okay, but uh, we have some uh, exception to, to avoid uh, this low parameter constraint. Uh, if we add one more triplet, okay, in that original type 2 system model, so called type 2 system model, uh, it's only one uh, triplet with hypercharge 1, but if we put one more triplet with hypercharge 0, we can align the low parameter to be unique. V3 equal V3 prime. Actually, this can be derived by assuming the classical custodian symmetry in this theory. And this model is so-called Georgian adjacent model. And in this case, kappa B factor is uh, corrected by this way. This is something similar to the uh, two hexabit model. In the two hexabit model, this factor is sine beta cosine alpha minus just one cosine beta sine alpha, then sine beta minus alpha. But uh, because of the large isospin charge, this factor is different from the one. This is a typical projection, uh, higher, higher isospin multiplet. And uh, in this case, uh, this kappa B factor can be uh, larger than one. This is a typical projection. Okay. So the, let me compare with other models. This is singlet and triplet. And first I enlarge this, this section. N now I've uh, pinned down some more uh, detail of the Higgs coupling. Okay. Then, uh, okay, this is from point A to point two, uh, one point two. And uh, okay, this is a singlet extension and six subject model. Again, six subject model cannot go the kappa B larger than prediction. But if we consider the Georgia Machatic model, uh, and uh, this scale is everything the same, and uh, here it's standard model. So the, in this case, kappa B factors clearly show that uh, uh, can be larger than one. This is, this all, all the parameter spaces are allowed, and the prediction is uh, depend on the uh, vacuum extension value of the triplet. Uh, this line is V3 equals zero. This is nothing but the single extension. And the uh, 10 GV case is this one, and the 30 GV is this one, and the 50 GV is this one. And this is a Higgs mixing angle. Okay, so we can have kappa B larger than one. Okay, so I, I want to show you one, one more <laughs> model, <laughs> which satisfies the uh, low parameter. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, this is a so-called septet model. Uh, I, and uh, SU2 septet with hypercharge 2 can, can be consistent with rho equal to 1. Because in this model, the uh, rho parameter is given by this form. Because rho parameter is usually written uh, uh, isospin on the hypercharge. And if you put this uh, uh, this uh, combination equal to one, and you can solve it. Then uh, you can easily get uh, uh, this uh, quantum numbers uh, by, by solving this equation. And uh, ne next, this is the next minimal to the tablet. And the next, next minimal is 26 flat actually. But uh, such a possibility is actually uh, ruled out from the viewpoint of perturbativity. Actually, 26 gives uh, some non perturbative effect in weak interaction. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, we don't need to align the vacuum extension body in this case. And uh, its prediction is very simple. And uh, this, this uh, isospin dependent part is now replaced to the 4. And the effective value is shifted to the v square, v2 square plus 16 v7 square. Okay, this, this factor is 2 square root 2 in GM model. And the prediction of septet can be compared with the Georgian Majatic model again. So then again, this, this blue line shows a 
size of the vacuum excitation body, and uh, this uh, black line shows a uh, Higgs mixing angle. Again, uh, if we take the larger vacuum excitation value, kappa b becomes larger and larger. This is a collection of all singlet models, Jojo Matachek models, Septet model, and type 1 picks up model. Uh, because these, these four models predict some universal power sample. Then uh, I put uh, all the plot into one. And typical feature is okay, this, this one is a single mixing model, and this, this three solid line is a two model type one, and this one is a Chosen Static model, and this is a Septic model. And typical behavior is a, if you go the large as you to multiple much spread, and uh, kappa b tends to be large. This is a typical. Okay, so uh, today what I want to tell you is that the fingerprint method is uh, nothing but the Higgs precision measurement. And the Higgs can be a, a nice probe to uh, of the new, new physics or non-minimum Higgs sector. And this is just our result. Okay, thank you very much. Any questions? Ah, okay. For, for example, if we go this kind of uh, usually we have the charge Higgs WZ particle. We have in, in such a theory. But uh, actually, such a uh, coupling is forbidden in the, for example, two Higgs subject model. So that if you want to go the kappa B larger than one, such a coupling always appear. And also the we also have need to introduce the doubly charged Higgs boson in, in such a theory. <coughs> Any more questions? Yeah, let's thank the speaker. <laughs>